Civil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Thursday, May 19th, 2022. Number one, Thomas Lane, one of the former Minneapolis policemen charged with George Floyd's 2020 murder, has agreed to a plea deal. The attorney representing the white former police officer entered the guilty plea to a state charge of aiding and abetting second degree manslaughter in the death of George Floyd. In exchange for the plea to manslaughter, the state of Minnesota will drop the second degree aiding and abetting murder charge against the 39-year-old Lane. Number two, after a years-long fight for equal pay, U.S. soccer and women's and men's national teams have announced a historic collective bargaining agreement to close the gender pay gap. The U.S. women's national team has dominated the soccer world, winning four FIFA Women's World Cup titles since the competition's founding in 1991 all while fighting for equitable pay. Under the terms, World Cup prize money will be pooled between the men's and the women's teams and split equally among all players, a first in the Soccer Federation world. Number three, a whole town celebrated in 2020 when Thomasville Regional Medical Center opened, offering state-of-the-art medicine that was previously unavailable in a small, isolated part of Alabama. Now deep in the red two years into the pandemic, they are missing out on millions of federal pandemic relief money because the facilities are so new, they lack full financial statements from before the crisis to prove how much it costs them. With a total debt of $35 million, the quest gets more urgent each day, says Curtis James, the chief executive officer. Number four, newly obtained body camera footage from an arrest involving an innocent black woman and Tampa Police Department officers adds disturbing details to a violent incident from last summer. The video shows two Tampa police officers responding to a vehicle that was sitting at the intersection of Kennedy and Ashley Drive in downtown Tampa. The body camera footage shows the officers initiating a DUI check of a driver, pulling him out of the vehicle and pinning him on the ground. His fiance, who stepped out of the passenger seat, can be heard in the video voicing concerns about the driver's safety after he said he couldn't breathe while the officers were on top of him. Number five, on May 20th, the sun enters the talkative, adaptable, versatile, and even childlike sign of Gemini. The upcoming four weeks are a time for us to process either the shocking information we've recently received or to move forward with no information at all. Read more about it in today's newsletter brought to you by Ms. Astrology. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Health should not just be a goal, it should be a lifestyle. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, we are partnering with the Public Welfare Foundation to give away $500 in grants. Go to my Instagram at Sybil Wilkes for more information and to sign up. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central for a special episode on astrology featuring Ms. Astrology herself and comedian Rudy Rush. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the American Heart Association. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.